Hi guys, it is Friday, and that means it's my weigh-in update. Um, as most of you know, I did not go last Friday because I didn't have anyone to watch Antoine, which is my son. For those of you who did not know, I didn't get to go last Friday because I didn't have anybody to watch Antoine, my son. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know this, my son is 10 years old and he has severe autism and mild mental retardation. And so we can't just go, you know, get anybody to watch him. It has to be somebody who knows him, knows how to handle him, um, that he knows and will not put through the ringer because he puts everyone to the test that he doesn't know. So anyway, enough about that. Um, I just weighed in. It is now 1041 a.m. on Friday, July the 15th. I have lost in two weeks 2.8 pounds. So I lost approximately a pound and a half each week. That's very exciting, especially since I couldn't even exercise because of my pain in my side. So, I mean, I exercised once for 20 minutes and I just didn't hardly put any effort into it because it was just hurting. Anyway, that's my update with that. Um, today we talked about this. I don't know if you guys can see it or not with this glare. Sorry. To your health and it's talking about eating fruits and vegetables gives you tips and ideas on how to eat them get them into your daily diet you should have uh, five fruits and vegetables every day five servings um, if you don't know what a serving is and you have the Weight Watchers book it tells you in there a serving of leafy type vegetables like lettuce and spinach is this a serving of you know that kind of thing um, if not, you can go online to the Weight Watchers website and look it up there and they can tell you. You can call Weight Watchers and they can probably tell you if you want to just call like a meeting place. If you don't go to meetings, they'll still answer that question. So, there's a recipe in here for something that looks really tasty. Oh, salmon burgers with peach salsa. I'll type that out for you guys because it looks really good. I just watched somebody the other day do salmon burgers and I was like, oh man, that looks good. Um, they gave some tips about tossing baby spinach into uh, with cooked pasta until just until it wilts and then stirring in tomato sauce and grated parmesan which doesn't sound good to me I guess because I'm Italian and so just tomato sauce is like ew but you get the point that kind of idea um, sticking raspberries in a salad of arugula arugula it's hard to say that red onion and goat cheese and tossing with a light vinaigrette sounds amazing um, jicama. If you've never had that, it's kind of like a potato. It is a root vegetable, um, and they're talking about cutting that into thick chips, you know, that just look like chips, and then using that to scoop up a low-fat dip, like uh, maybe a hummus, or even whatever kind you like, French onion dip, whatever, you can get them low-fat now. And then there's a recipe in here for summer slaw, and it is four cups of shredded Napa cabbage, a peeled sh a shredded jicama, a cup of shredded radishes, two tablespoons of lime juice, rice vinegar, dark sesame oil, ground cumin, and salt, and it sounds really good, and it's uh, serve six, and it's one point per serving. Sorry, I had to use my hand to do the blinker. So, that's just a few things that's in the book this week, and really it was just, the whole meeting was mainly about... Um, making sure that you get in those fruits and vegetables because they are filling foods so that you're not starving all the time and wanting to eat junk that does not fill you up. Um, we all know that if you eat a cup of watermelon or a cup of cantaloupe or a whole banana, it keeps you full longer than if you ate a cup of potato chips, you know, junk food or um, whatever. So that and then um, they were just kind of she was asking people for like tips and ideas on how they get in fruits and vegetables how they cook them I'm sorry um, and a lot of people were saying that they love to roast vegetables like in the oven or grill them on the grill because it just brings out a, a different flavor and it makes them almost taste like you're not eating vegetables if you don't like them so um, this one girl said she will just cut up whatever kind of vegetable it is, toss it in her daily olive oil um, requirement, which is two teaspoons, 
and put some seasoning on there, whatever kind she likes, and then just stick them in the oven and roast them. Um, you can put them on a, a grilling, what do you call that? A broiler pan. You can broil them. You can bake them for however long. And then uh, they were talking about grilling fruit because it brings out the sweetness in it and makes it more like a dessert. So cutting a peach in half and just tossing it on the grill and wait until it gets those nice grill marks and it's nice and hot. I want to try that really bad. I actually fried a banana, fried I say, because it was in Pam cooking spray the other day and put that on my oatmeal. I think that was last week. And that was unbelievably tasty. That banana was so sweet and so gooey and so dessert-like that it made my oatmeal like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good. So cooking fruit, you know, if, you, if you're not really in the mood for like just a cold, fresh piece of fruit, cook it. I stick an apple in the microwave and cover it in saran wrap with a little tin foil and some uh, cinnamon and some vanilla and you've got like a baked apple. So just all different kinds of ideas like that. This one girl said she didn't really like Brussels sprouts until she started cutting them up. Not just, you know, keeping them whole, but chopping them in like half at least and then roasting them in the oven with her olive oil. And then she said, I really like them now. So just all different things that you can try to try to get those fruits and vegetables in because they fill you up longer. They're healthier for you than eating garbage you know, junk foods or just even empty foods that don't really give you any nutritional value whatsoever. They're just something to stick in your mouth because it tastes good. So, yeah, that was what the meeting was about. And I think I'm going to try to start doing this more often because me doing a separate video for weekly meeting content, as you clearly can see, is not happening right now because everyone is home from school and work and I just can't even find, f I just can't do it because I kind of need to be quiet and talk about this. I can't just do like my daily vlogs. Um, they're talking about swapping unsweetened, frozen unsweetened peaches and raspberries and for fresh fruit. So if you can't get a hold of fresh fruit, stick that, you know, have the, having those in your freezer and just unthawing them is still good. The recipe for the salmon burgers, there's a recipe for peach peaches with Riesling sauce. So I will type all three recipes out for you guys. Um, oh no, I'm going to have to do this in like a Facebook post or something because there's like two pages of recipes. There's zucchini fries, lamb zucchini and onion kebabs, shrimp with zucchini and tomatoes, penne with spinach and tomatoes. There's a ton of recipes in here this week. Um, and then they're talking about getting your water in. Excuse me. And then an orange banana yogurt chiller, which is two cups of orange juice, two bananas cut into pieces, and a container of Weight Watchers vanilla non-fat yogurt for two points. Um, peel the banana before packing it in the freezer. They're talking about freezing the banana because it makes it thicker. Sorry. Um, put the orange juice, bananas, and yogurt in the blender. Cover and blend it until smooth. Pour it into glasses and serve immediately. Serving size. It serves two people. That amount serves two people, and it's uh, two points per serving. I actually think it would be one points per serving because the six ounce container of yogurt is only two points. And if you're splitting that, yeah, it's two points total. So it's one point per serving. And then this lady said that I make a Weight Watchers smoothie loaded with fresh fruit to drink in the car while running errands. That way I'm not tempted to buy fast food for cravings. Heather from Tampa, Florida. She got the Bravo this week. And then next week they'll be talking about um, party, have fun, stay on plan. So that's the meeting content, my weigh-in update, and you guys are awesome. Happy Friday! It's Friday, it's Friday. Woo! That was my Friday chair dance. Bye!